I'm going to be making a tote. Um, I'm going to be using some cute, oh, that's not the fabric, sorry. I'm going to be using some cute squirrel fabric that I found in my cupboard. It's going to be for a friend who likes brown and I didn't really have any nice brown feature fabric. But the squirrels are brown and I was going to do the bottom brown and then I was going to do the inside brown gingham. So I'm thinking that'll look nice. Hopefully she likes blue as well. But um, I have an in real life um, sewing friend so I thought I'd make a present for her. Now um, I'm going to make a tote and um, I'm going to use Erica Arndt's um, tote tutorial. Tote tutorial. Um, I'll link, I'll put the, um, the tutorial, the YouTube tutorial in the um, the uh, in the description below sorry the dog is behind me and making weird noises i don't know if you can hear us if you hear something weird it's the dog so anyway um i remembered why i don't like working with directional fabric because when i was cutting it i discovered i cut the fabric this way so then i had to turn it around this way so then i've had to add a bit of bottom on um to make the fabric the right direction but that's the inside of the pocket and then i had some left over the bits that's the dog, if you can hear the dog. And then I'll, that pocket will go like over it, like that. And then these little bits of squirrel from the piece that went sideways. Directional fabric. So I'm making that and I've got some brown binding. I'm not quite sure which one I'll use yet. And I thought I might go with green handles. Um, I'm also thinking I might change it a little bit, how, how um, it's done in the original pattern. Um, I'm gonna try to add a pocket. I'm in between the two straps of the handle and a longer pocket on the inside. Um, I'm actually gonna make myself one as well. I'm gonna use this cute um, rabbit fabric that I found in the cupboard. I'm trying to use my fabric that I've got rather than buy stuff. Um, and when I do mine, I'm going to try to you put a pocket in, two pockets, additional pockets inside to fit um, water bottles. Because when I do like a day trip, I take a flask of tea and a flask of water. Um, and I don't really have anything to put them in. I end up putting them in a brown bag and then they fall down and it's really, oh. anyway, it's really daggy. So this is me practicing. I mean, it's my son's birthday tomorrow. I should be making something for him, but I started this and I want to do it. And I'm not going to be able to finish his birthday present in time. So I'm just going to do something for me. I'm going to chill out. Uh, he's got plenty of presents. So I can always give him something a little bit later. So I have to now today, I've cut all the fabric, I think. I have to sew this additional bit on the, to fix the length. And then I have to then, um, I'm gonna spray baste it to some foam and then I'm gonna quilt it. I don't think I'll quilt the sides cause they're kind of, yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, don't, I mean, how do you quilt squirrel fabric? I've got no idea, but I'll figure that out. That's my next step. Um, I'm, I'm not, I'll do this one, it'll be in a separate video. I was just, while well, I was cutting out something, I did cut it out. I've even actually changed the needle on my sewing machine, a little bit organized. And so now I've got to hunt out my ironing board and spray based a thingy majiggy, what's, you know, the spray. Oh no, hang on, it's actually here. Where is it? I went to the spotlight and got some. There's like one choice of spray basting around where I live. And, so I'm going to spray base the foam to the, I'm going to spray base this to the foam to this. I haven't actually cut the foam to size. I was going to do that after I spray basted it. Quilt it and then start assembling. But if you want the actual how to do it properly and not my lazy way and cheats way and don't really need to do it properly way, I will definitely put um, the tutorial link below. All right, so I'm going to find my iron board. I just wanted to show you something different that I've done. So this is this is the back according to Erica's pattern tutorial, and this is the front. But what I've done different is I've gone and I've added in a pocket, and I've finished it off the top. And I've just when I was joining this here, I've just got it here joined into there. So um, because. Erica's tutorial you normally would just pull the handles back and quilt everything I figured I could just pull that back as well quilt this section pull the back then quilt this section this being the back of the bag then quilt this section 
but that's something different that I'm trying. And then when I go to sew them, they'll just be sewn on when I sew the handles and then you'll have a pocket. So hopefully that will work out. You know, that's something different to the original tutorial. And then I've got the cute little screws. Like I didn't realize I cut his head off. Oh, poor thing. But anyway, so now I'm going to do the quilt backing. Made the sandwich of the, I'm gonna use foam. I've got this foam here and then the gingham and quilt, um, baste it and then I'm gonna quilt it up. But I think I'm just gonna do lines and then maybe this way, because if I do diagonal, it's going to start to get hard. So I was just going to do lines. And then I think, anyway, we'll see how it goes. Kind of thankful that I've got all this mess here that I can just ramp this up <laughs> to iron it. I do not have a lot of space. And the smell of the glue is kind of tripping me out. So I started quilting on the side panel and I've measured these all out to an inch and they kept fading because my the markers actually blue. I don't know if you can see here. And they kept fading in on the blue. So then I did the the dark section, just freehand it, and it's kind of okay. So I think I might just rule the first line and then just from every there, just gauge it with my eye to make life easier with the quilting. And also, I think I'll just do it like that. I don't think I'll then go and do this way because I kind of like it like that. It kind of looks, looks kind of cute. Anyway, that's what I've got so far. making progress okay so I've got the side panels and I've cut the curve off them I just put the um, spray basting can down and cut around them very technical um, I folded this handle up and I folded in the pocket here so when I stitch the handle closed or on it'll stitch the pocket on but I'm not gonna do it on this side because on this side I have made a pocket for the inside. So what I've just done is I've just got a piece of foam, covered it with fabric and put the binding on it. And then I just got the side panel because this shows you how tall your bag's gonna be. And I've just gone, okay, so this is the bottom. I'm going to just sort of want it about there, like a great estimate. So I don't want it all the way up to the top and I just, you've got to be able to put things in it. So this will get stitched to the inside. So this is the outside at the moment. But when I stitch the handles on, it's going to stitch this in place and put some dividers on the bag. But because I haven't quilted this bit, when I add this bit, I'm actually going to do that by hand. Um, just because, uh, otherwise you'll see my crappy sewing. Whoops, something fell down. Cause you know, I'm in the kitchen. So this, uh, this, this is the back. So what I'm going to be doing is just measuring Oh, that's the bit I'm going to sew on. That's the height of the bag. So I'm just going to grab this and put it about here. Um, pull this away. Then I'm just going to hand sew this in place because that's what we're doing at the moment. Makes it easy for me. And then when I sew these handles in place, it'll put some dividers. Granting that it's not going to go all the way down to the bottom because... I haven't quilted here so I'm gonna then just hand stitch the bottom here to make the dividers finished but that's what my next job is actually you can't quite see the pocket but that's why I put the binding there so you can kind of see it progress I have attached the handles which means that this internal pocket has been stitched in it's stitched to here and finished here do you know what at the moment I'm not going to finish that because 
it's already biting me. I've got a great big band-aid on my finger from the needles. So I'm just going to leave it like that and see how I, if I like it. Um, if I can later on go and finish this internal seam, like I've done, just hand stitch this one down. Side note to myself, <laughs> if you do an internal pocket, don't use foam because look at what I'm having to pin here. I've got one, I don't know if it's, is it too blurry? Is that a bit better? I've got one fabric, foam, fabric, fabric, foam, fabric, fabric, foam, fabric, fabric, fabric. And that doesn't include the binding. So I think I'm going to have to switch out to my denim needle and um oh the, someone's walking past with a dog i don't know if you can hear the dog barking um but yeah definitely going to need to switch to my denim needle and now i'm going to go outside and see what the dog's barking at because that's life just going to take a moment to admire something that looks actually a little bit like a tote bag so i have just gone and put the side on I'm going to have so to take off my needle and switch to a denim needle and I'm going to take off the walking foot as well on my sewing machine because that's just really hard to use with the foam. I'm just going to push it through and work through it. Um, but it's actually looking like a bag. I'm actually quite pleased with it. Um, so I just want to take a moment to admire it now before I get fed up with it trying to shove it through the sewing machine. Okay, under the supervision of my cute little budgie who's suddenly gone quiet from talking all the time. I have finished it. I think it looks awesome. Now she started talking again. <laughs> it looks awesome. I love it. It's worked out really well. And it's a gift. So I hope the person is going to like it. What do you think of it? Hey. All right, that's it. That's my present done. Back to my budgie. No, gone quite again. She's camera shy. All right. See you guys later.